Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to a great week of learning. This week, this week and next week, and, and is, are going to be some cool weeks going on here. We have uh, some extended advisories to do some things. We have at-home learning this week, uh, which is Wednesday, so you'll get all your work today in those classes, unless you're math and English and might get them tomorrow, because you have those every day. Uh, today and tomorrow, we're going to be doing we're going to be doing extended advisories to take the panorama survey. And we'll talk more about that here. We also have uh, some other pieces too, uh, along with we'll have a candy awards nominations for you this week. So you'll do those after your um, panorama survey, uh, and also eighth graders do those next week. So this week, seventh grade and sixth grade will do their panorama survey half each day. Uh, seventh graders, you will do spa one day or the other. Sixth graders, you will do uh, silent reading. And then next week, sixth graders, you'll have your spa. Next week, eighth graders, you'll have your spa uh, for that. We also have Hispanic Heritage Month. Start off, why, and why is it the 15th through the 15th? We'll find out that today. And then a couple other things. We're exciting a couple weeks here. Next week also is homecoming week. And so we'll have a spirit week for then too. And we'll, we'll present that um, starting tomorrow. But we have a lot to going on today and tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, we don't, have, we don't have school here at Wesleyan, but we do have work to do. And then uh, Thursday, we'll also have another advisory day, which will be just a regular advisory day. So let's get to announcements and find out everything that's happening at Westlane. All right, today is Monday, September the 16th, 2024, and these are your morning announcements. Westlane Middle School is an avid school-wide site of distinction. The mission of Westlane Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. All right, let's make sure we're Wildcat ready, everyone. Our language and IDs are around our necks. Our binders, agenda books, and writing utensils are with us. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. Backpacks and purses are in our lockers. AirPods and phones are in our lockers as well. Blankets stay at home. All right, like I said, we're having a different type of schedule this week. Uh, an hour-long advisory, Monday and Tuesday. Regular advisory on Wednesday or Thursday. Friday. And then uh, Friday will be a no advisory day. So you're looking at our advisory be about an hour long. And then our classes, one, one, two, three, four, five today will be about 58 minutes long. About the regular time, just we took a few minutes off each so we can make sure we do all of our, our get our panorama survey done. Don't forget, so those of you who are not, uh, sixth graders especially, not that are not in um, doing our, our, doing a spa this week, you guys are reading, uh, drop everything and read next week. Seventh grade drops everything and read, and then eighth grade does that as well. Um, just make sure everybody knows that. Reading challenges started, so let's go on that. Uh, we'll be able to do that. September is Spinal Cord and Injury Awareness Month. If you have any more questions for Ms. Richardson, we're going to bring her back, we believe, next week uh, to talk with her about her experiences. All right, so I talked about Candy Award nominations this week. Your, your teacher is going to send you a link on your computer. So it's going to be after, before, uh, whenever you do your uh, panorama, after, actually. And so some of these are pretty self-explanatory. You have this whole list on here. You'll pick the Candy Award. You pick the student, make sure you put the student's last name as possible and definitely grade level as well. So, for instance, a Snickers Award, always making people others, other people laugh. I know that's a, a big thing, Mr. Pitcock. I make people laugh, but is it for students? A Milky Way Award for quality work that's around out of this world. Three Musketeers Award for being such a good friend. Uh, the Jolly Rancher Award for having a positive, cheerful attitude. The Blow Pop Award for anybody's musical talent. Our Twix, artistically talented. Peanut butter cups for two great things that go great together. So who's a double threat here? Who has, who's a great singer and an athlete? Who's a great um, academic? Uh, who's a great learner and has artistic talent? Like there's just those two things that go great together for that. Also, we have Almond Joy for Joyful. We have Tootsie Roll for Best Dancer. We have Mike and Ice for just a buddy award. Who's a good pair of friends that you know? That's the only one you will nominate two. And then at the end here, Blue Talkies. Now, is that a candy? No. But it just show who has the most school spirit, and you know you love it, so we'll go from there, right? So let's go. Um, all right. So to uh, open, I'm sorry, no, nope, student council is this Thursday after school on September the 19th. All right. Oh, don't forget EU camping trip forms are due by September 20th, and we have open gym the September 20th, and it's only for Westland students and. Uh, you cannot be an ISI or have more than one tardy between last Monday and this Friday to attend. You must have your lander and ID or three dollars to purchase one, and the cost of open gym is five dollars. It'll be six to seven thirty this Friday. 
Westline Athletics. Great week last week for Westline Athletics. Although I will say this. I have received a bullying report from Eastwood Middle School where our girls' soccer team uh, bullied them last week. They didn't let them score, and they scored eight goals themselves. And we didn't even play a whole game because that's how, like, they just blew them out, right? So great job on that. Cross country continued their domination. Uh, different places, volleyball had a good week as well. Um, so let's just keep going. We have a lot of good athlete, athletics this week, and we have three weeks left of, uh, of, of fall athletics, and it kind of shrinks down into just basketball and wrestling. Um, for cheerleading and dance, but uh, uh, we'll go through there. All right, today's lunch is popcorn chicken with a roll, pizza, turkey pepper jack sub, yogurt parfait and mashed potatoes and gravy. Tomorrow's breakfast is a breakfast sandwich or muffin with cereal, juice, and applesauce. All right, make sure we clean up Wesley. Make sure we throw away our trash in that cafeteria when we eat breakfast and lunch. All right, why is Latin American and Hispanic Heritage Month celebrated September the 15th through the, uh, October the 15th? Well, each year we observe this because uh, we celebrate their history. American citizens and ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. It started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson. It was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period starting on the 15th and ending the 15th. The day of September 15th is significant because it is the anniversary of independence for Latin American countries, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In addition, Mexico and Chile Celebrate their Independence Days on September 16th and September 18th, respectively. So that is why we start on the 15th and we go in for a month. Okay? So that's why that is. All right, Panorama Education. There's your survey for today, tomorrow, and in, in eighth grade, your next week. So you're going to be asked questions about learning strategies. You're going to be asked questions about social awareness. How well do you consider the perspectives of others and empathize with others? Positive feelings and supportive relationships. We're also going to ask you a second survey, it's a little shorter, about sense of belonging and how you feel like as a valued member of your school community. Cultural awareness, how often do you learn about and discuss and confront issues surrounding race, culture, and justice. And so all your teachers are going to read these surveys to you, and you're going to either follow along with them or you're going to work ahead. It's up to you, but we're going to be quiet during it, and we're going to be working through our survey. We have to finish it all in today, right? Because uh, you, um, because... It doesn't save, right? So you log in, but it doesn't save your work. And so you got to make sure you get all that work done. All right, make sure we're keeping our hands off each other and no shadow boxing here at West Lane. Dress code, make sure you're expected to observe standards of common decency and dress, which means at West Lane, this means no stomachs, shoulders, or private areas should be showing, and no undone belts, sleepwear, or hats, or hoods. Uh, in cafeteria, make sure you sit in the correct, uh, sit correct t tables and facing the center. Stay in your seat and have your ID. Stay in your seat until your grade level is called and walk back with your class. Keep the tables cleaning up. I will say this, when we have throwaway trays, we don't do as well with cleaning the tables. Let's make sure we're taking a focus on that. Don't forget pass protocol. Each student gets an average of one pass a week and no pass is the first 20 minutes or last 20 minutes of class. Uh, there, teachers can write about two to three passes per class and teacher can also say no. Uh, pass protocol, students, all restroom passes out of class are five minutes or less. The bell does not dismiss you from class, your teacher does. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. And all food should be in the cafetorium. No food should be outside the cafetorium. And students, your ID also must be around your neck for you to receive a hall pass and a checkout library books. All cell phones are in your locker. Between 925 and 425, they'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And also, if you are using your smartwatch like a phone, we will treat it like a phone and take it and wait for your parents to come pick it up. All right. Don't forget our motto, Cada Wildcat, Cada Dia Mayor, which means in English means every Wildcat every day gets better. Also, too, you know it's Monday, so what does that mean? It means, dun da 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 movie music Monday and TV music, but this is a movie. And actually, because we talk about friendship and we're talking about candy awards for who's best friends and do we have friends here at West Bend in our panorama survey, I thought this would be a great song to play. So the 13th caller, you won't start your panorama until I get the 13th caller, and I'll tell people to start the panorama afterwards. But where is this? What movie is this song from? Ready? And it just has to be the, I know there's a couple of these movies, so it necessarily just has to be the franchise, right? It has to be the franchise. Here we go. You got a friend. 
You got a friend in me When the road looks rough ahead All right, 13th caller, 33 23101. What song is this from? Thank you everybody. For you got a 